Hey guys, we're up here at uh, Gold Mountain in Big Bear right now. Uh, we just got a fresh dumping of snow last night. Uh, it's gorgeous right now. Um, we are running this trail today uh, with both Eric's Jeep and uh, Jeff's Tacoma. Eric's got a brand new JL that we're basically going to be equipping with some new Fox shocks. Um, right now he's got a three and a half inch kit on some rock sports. I'm gonna let him talk about that in a minute. But what we like to do is we like to run some trails um, and then halfway through middle of the day we like to change out some equipment to really see if there's any kind of like noticeable difference and if this equipment that we're all spending hundreds of dollars on is really you know making a difference in like the ride quality perceived ride quality help with the vehicle all kinds of stuff so yeah tell us about why uh what how you ended up with the metal cloak lift kit the wheels the tires you know take us a little bit yeah, around the so, vehicle uh, i got the jl and i kind of started following a bunch of uh you know instagram and youtube pages um, one of the pages was JL Rubitron. They were having a little bit of a competition. Uh, I entered and I actually won the Rock Sport shocks independent of the lift. Um, when I got those, I decided to contact Metal Cloak. You know, I do a little bit of photo video here and there and uh, talked to their, their marketing department and we worked out a deal where I was actually able to get the uh, suspension to go along with the shocks. Um, so I got the basic three and a half inch lift from Metal Cloak. Uh, it comes with the dual rate springs, rock sport shocks. Uh, you get the new sway bar end links, and then also upper control arms and a new track bar in the front. Um, and, and rear, actually. Uh, definitely a, a cool kit. Um, it gave me the height that I needed to get the 37 inch tires on here. Um, we're running the 37 inch by 12 and a half mile star Patagonias on 17 inch Pro Comp wheels. Um, also to kind of give that suspension a little run for its money, uh, I've got steel bumpers front and rear uh, to add a little bit of extra weight. Um, but this thing definitely handles incredible on and off-road. Um, you know, I do, I do notice, you know, a little bit of vibration at highway speed. Um, but overall, with tires this big, I think it's, it's really handling really well. Yeah, and we want to like say something about the, the wheels and tires too, because <clears throat> a lot of people kind of don't know that this much unsprung weight on a vehicle so when I talk about unsprung weight, um, this is sprung weight because this is sitting on the springs right now, but everything regarding the axles and the wheels and the tires is all unsprung weight. And all of that is taking direct action on the shocks. So, you know, per corner, you're looking at about probably 30 to 40 pounds more than uh, a stock setup or a stock size 33 or a stock size 35 because these are extremely aggressive treads. Um, the tires inside have a lot more protection, so they got steel bands inside, plus the, the, the new wheels, it all adds more to that constant up and down articulation that's happening on the shocks. So not only do you need like a, a shock to handle that at normal highway speeds um, for like the longevity of everything on the rest of your vehicle, but especially out here on these trails where it's just nothing but rocky going, bumping hard, hitting hard, and these wheels and tires are really flexing quite a bit with the body. So. Uh, the purpose of running this trail is it's an extremely aggressive trail. We just ran up some serious uh, obstacles called uh, Waterfall 1 and 2 on Gold Mountain. Uh, it's probably going to get even hairier as we go up. Uh, it's really slippery. Uh, the snow is everywhere. We're going to get even deeper pretty soon. What we're planning on doing at the halfway point, um, we're going to run this trail, run Gold Mountain, and then we're going to install some Fox shocks, uh, some 2.0s on this thing to see if it really makes a difference.
right, here we go. Yeah. So we got the Fox shocks installed, and this is the first maiden voyage. Maiden voyage. Warm these bad boys up. Let's see what they feel like. Anything immediately apparent? I almost feel like they're more responsive. I don't know if that makes sense though. Almost like steering, like my steering feels super stable. Because we changed out the front, so it should be steering like the front end, right? Right. So, I mean, I feel like a little bit more predictable. Or I feel like my steering wheel is not fighting as much. Yeah, okay. That makes the most sense. Like versus got every bottle kind of pull, pulling up to the side or something like now. Depending on what it, what you were rolling over at the time. Yeah, it feels like now it's kind of just going where it's pointing. That's awesome. Could be subjective, but I feel like I right. really feel like it was an upgrade. So in my head, I feel like it's going to be a for sure instant upgrade. Right. Got a good speed going, and it feels, it feels good. It definitely feels more responsive. Like it feels like it's doing what it's supposed to. Yeah. The other shocks had probably about 10,000 miles on them. Okay. Max. Gotcha. Max. So I mean, this, they weren't necessarily old. I feel like they still had a ton of life, but right. I do feel like there's a difference. It's just hard for me to to quantify what that is. It feels pretty good from this side. <laughs> there we go. Okay, squirrely. Little tail wagon. I'm still in two-wheel drive, too. Oh, yeah. I haven't switched it over. It's more fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's what's crazy sometimes is when it wasn't bad before. And then you get the better. But it's better, and you're like, ooh. You know, I agree with that because it wasn't bad before. Like, I knew that those were, like, the, the rock sports or, like, they're the entry-level... Uh, of the metal cloak, gotcha. which isn't bad. Right. You know, it's not like they're bad shocks, they, and they're specifically made for metal cloak suspension, for sure. Right. But it is interesting to feel something else after only driven, driving this um, with those for the last you know, 10,000 miles. I right. actually feel an immediate change, I feel an immediate difference. Yeah. Hey guys, we just got done with uh, Big Bear and uh, Johnson Valley um, and uh, uh, Cougar Buttes. I have a hard time saying that. We one. had everything today. <laughs> it's been crazy. Yeah, a little bit of everything. We're out here on the lake bed, gorgeous sunset. Uh, we just got done with uh, Eric's Jeep and his JL. Installed some brand new Fox shocks on it. Um, so new we're paint job. Yeah, <laughs> new paint job, <laughs> new shocks. Uh, kind of interested to hear what he had to say about the uh, before and after differences. Uh, I think overall it definitely feels different. Um, I feel like it really handled a lot of the different terrains really well. Um, you know, it's it's a, a one day comparison and we're kind of going all over the place and I felt like there wasn't anywhere where it really let me down. So overall, I'm really happy with the Fox 2.0. I definitely want to continue to, to get out there and, and continue putting them to, through the paces. Um, but so far, so good. I'm really happy with these. Did you did you feel any difference be when you like on those big ass whoops that you were coming down hard on the front? Was there any difference between your old shocks and the new ones? I think I mentioned earlier thing? a little bit. Um, I feel like the the new shocks felt more responsive. Um, like my my steering and my handling felt a little bit more confident. Um, you know, like I said, it's something that I definitely put it through the paces today and. Yeah. I'm not I'm not finding anywhere where I was really disappointed with this setup. Gotcha. Alright, so now we gotta try it on the highway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Um, so yeah, that, that's about, you know, we, we did a lot, a lot of high speed stuff today. Um, we got some rock crawling in done. We got like a lot of snow and muddy waters. Um, but yeah, we're gonna continue putting this thing through its paces to uh, just really see you know, how it handles the additional loads in the back um, and a little bit more of the, uh, the desert terrain out here in SoCal. Been fun.